Western arms dealer is going to be inspecting a CFA outpost. It appears he's involved with nuclear weapons development in the area. My hunch is that this guy is somehow connected to Cypher. I've got no proof, but we know Skullface is working through PFs in the region. Anyway, it just so happens a job connected to this inspection has come in. Take a look at your eye droid. Well, if I'm thinking correctly, and I most likely am, this is the mission where we have to like infiltrate Nova Braga Airport and uh, do something to do with the arms dealer. It's a bit of a fiddly mission, but I'm sure I can pull it off. Oh, I'm also wondering, those kids there, are they not washed since they've been here? I mean, there's a shower unit right there. They look filthy, you know what I mean? Could we not get them some different clothes? I mean, of course, Snake doesn't want them to be soldiers. He wants them to learn things and all that guff, which is, you know, very noble. But honestly, realistically, just chuck them in the shower. Seriously, just, you know, like this, easy peasy. And roughly about five seconds or so, and done. You know what I mean? That's all it takes. Chuck them in the shower. Get them clean. Dear, dear, dear. But yeah, this mission I'm thinking of is to infiltrate Nova Braga Airport and do something with the arms dealer. There's another guy in there who's wearing armor, but thankfully doesn't wear a helmet. Yes, nice one, lad. Um, it's a bit of a tricky one. You know, it's a bit of a tricky little mission. I don't really think I'm going to do too well on it, to be honest. Um, getting in there when there's loads of guys. And uh, I believe there's also some walker gears there as well. I'm not too sure, but I think there might be. Um, and it's also a mission where you have to listen to conversations, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. If this is the mission I'm thinking of, of course, then it's the one where I've got to listen to all the conversations. But I don't have to right now, thankfully. Um, but this is one where D-Doge can be a little bit of a hindrance because he can bump into them and he stops the conversations. So um, you want to use him to see everyone in the area and then take him out of the mission. So... Yeah, uh, it's one of those missions, I think, if it's the mission I'm thinking of, which it probably is, so, you know, we'll see when we get there. Come on, get us into the aerial command centre then. Alright then, let's have a look at it shall we? Over here, mission list, and the war economy. Eliminate the CFA official station at Nova Braga Airport. He is due to conduct an inspection with a visiting arms dealer, so expect heavy security. Yep, this is the exact one I was thinking of. Awesome! Like I say, this one can be relatively tricky. So we're going to approach like this, we're going to go probably through, a, oh my god, come on, stop locking on. We're probably going to like go through a little gap here, and this is the building they're going to be on. Uh, there's actually going to be security cameras, uh, like here, and uh, a gate here, I think. Uh, or maybe it's here. There's a, there's a, yeah, yeah, I think it's here, exactly. Exactly here, there's a security camera there. We walk straight through, go straight to it, the security camera's around here, and around here, I think. And they're going to land on this building here with a helicopter um, so it's relatively tricky because obviously there's a helicopter patrolling so um, yeah it's a little bit difficult but one of the missions is to actually eliminate the helicopter whilst um, the arms dealer and the official are inside it I think I think that's one of the missions which um, what you can do fun little thing I like to do is um, upgrade my grenade all the way get stealth camo walk up throw a grenade in the door as they walk in, and as they're taking off, uh, it just blows up, <laughs> and no one knows that you did it, because obviously it just explodes randomly. I mean, you could just walk up and put a C4 on it, wait for it to be in the sky. It's more fun to throw a grenade, though. So, um, I believe we're actually all good here on everything that we need, apart from vehicle. I don't want to be taking in a car. Um, to one, it costs GMP to do it, and um, I don't need a car. So, yeah, there is that. Let's commence the mission, then, shall we? Oh, you know what? I'm going to go in at night time, make things a bit easier. Alright, so if I'm thinking right, we extract both of them, so that's a mission task of course, and um, we get some good people from that because one of them's an arms dealer and one of them is like a CFA official, so one of them's a very a skilled soldier and one of them is a very intelligent person, so, uh, and he's very business minded of course. 
So realistically, we're going to get some good shit. So there's actually that security camera there, um, I believe. We will have to actually, well, we don't have to, but if you were to destroy it, it will lure a guy towards you. So, you know, you kind of want to use these uh, these situations, I should say, to the the best of your advantage. Really, you just you just see a security camera, you shoot it, and this and the guy in the command console uh, little area says, uh, "By the way, guys, um, oh shit." Mother base is under attack. The enemy is over on one of our platforms, and they're holding some of our staff hostage. If we don't do something, they'll try to take off with our men. That would mean losing some of our finest manpower. Boss, take back that platform. This is a race against time. For all of us. Get on this mission right away, boss. Well, um, I guess we're not going to do this mission then. I guess we're going to have to go back and, uh, yeah, do that. Holy shit. Retake the platform. When does this happen again? I think this happens like twice, right? Um, actually, doing this, does that do something for us? I think it does, right? Awesome. So we're going to go do this. I'm going to take back our platform. Holy shit. That was surprising. I forgot about this. All right. So to retake the platform, uh, we can't actually use any buddies, any vehicles or anything like that. It's just us. Because on Mother Base, of course, we can't use any buddies. I don't know why. Don't ask. Um, I'm probably not going to kill anyone, although it is an emergency mission, which means I probably... You know what? Shall I? It's an emergency mission. I don't think we're like, you know, ranked or anything. Maybe we are. I don't know. But realistically, I don't know, I, I, I want to kill people, you know what I mean? I want to just shoot them off. I want to just, ah, oh, you know, get, get a gun out. Maybe, maybe rocket launcher over here, you know, rocket launcher or sniper. Um, you know what, I'm going to use this, this sniper here, even though it's very loud. I don't really know why, you know, fuck it, I've got enough GMP to do it, why not? Uh, I'm probably not going to use it, maybe for the last guy. I don't know, I need to get a silenced one. A silenced sniper is really, really important. But anyway, let's just uh, go in and see what happens. Infiltrate the platform under enemy control and eliminate their commander. The moment they lose their chain of command, we'll move in and suppress the rest. The enemy have taken some of our staff hostage and are threatening to kill them if they're attacked. You can't rely on support from us this time. Anything we do might be seen as an attack. Boss, forgive me. Can't believe I let an enemy force in right under my nose. But one thing's for sure. They're gonna pay for it. Make certain of that, boss. Alright, so this doesn't really make much sense, considering everyone should be on the highest of alerts considering what happened in Peace Walker. And this is uh, episode 22, so I assumed I, oh, I assume I am ranked for this. So realistically, I'm glad I didn't go all out guns. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is what we're going to be doing at some other point in time, in which we'll actually be um, infiltrating other people's bases. So uh, yeah, it's actually a good idea to get a feel for this now. And this is probably what we're going to be doing when we infiltrate people's bases. Um, you know, I might infiltrate a few bases online just to show you what it's like. Although, I could hear like loads of shit next to me there. Um, so these are the enemies I assume then, yes? Um, sliding in all over the place. Uh, hopefully they don't see me. And um, I can take them all out. Okay, fantastic. And there we go. Um, I don't know if I am ranked for this. I'm going to assume I am. I think I hit him, so uh, yeah. But what I like to do when I play online, when it, when it comes to infiltrating bases, is basically <laughs> just this. Just crawl around the floor like this. And uh, generally, they um, they can't see you that often. Oh my god, I'm reloading insanely. Well, I'm not reloading, am I? I'm, I'm uh, cocking the gun uh, insanely quickly. Um, some people call that like re-chambering, I believe. Uh, I think I can actually... Uh, have a little gander around. Although, I could also use my uh, bang detector. Boom. Easy peasy. And, um, there are some guys over there, it would seem. And it's raining. Awesome. So, um, can I save these guys? Do I just have to, like, extract them like this? Um, I think that's what we do, right? I'm not exactly sure. But these guys are prisoners, and they are my guys. So, yeah. Um, 
Are these guys any good? B? Okay. Uh, A. Wow. Yes, please. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep slowly... Okay, I got him. That's good enough. Keep slowly working my way towards this area over here. Of course. And you can't actually go underneath Mother Base. I haven't mentioned this before. Um, but Mother Base is a very big place, as you can see, because, of course, I did expand quite quickly. A little bit unfortunate. Most people won't have a base like this. Um, this early on, anyway. But you can... Well, oh, this guy's screaming his ass off. Um, you can go underneath a lot of places. As you can see down there, all this is like you can walk around it, you can go underneath places. So, basically, you don't have to go along the top like this. Along the top is the fastest. I'm slurring. I do apologise. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, shit, dude. Wow. Not having D-Doge here, you can tell how bad I am without him. I really do rely on my D-Doge. Then again, it's okay to do that. Wow, that was terrible. Actually, it was okay. <laughs> I don't think I can call in a supply drop. No, which means I need to be very careful. Oh, God. Right, well, I need to stop using bullets then. Look how many guys are everywhere. Um, I did bring a sniper, but honestly, not the best idea. Um, when you infiltrate people's bases, though, you can actually um, take their little boxes like this. You see these um, the resource crates? You can take them. Shit. I didn't mean for that to happen. You can steal them and use them for yourself, which is a, a really good way of getting loads and loads of resources, is to steal them from other players. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't actually steal them from, you know, their actual um, count, so they don't actually log in one day and go, oh no, someone stole half my shit. Uh, pardon me. Oh, It just, um, you know, gets taken away and it says, oh, you've had things stolen from you. And that's it. It doesn't actually take anything off them, which is good, I think, because then you get people infiltrating all the time, and you're like, alright, well, I'm trying to work on my base defense, I'm trying to get a lot of shit here, and then you log in one day, and all your stuff's been taken, so, uh, yeah, that's not very good, is it? But, um, we need to be very careful here, because, of course, um, I don't particularly want to be using too many bullets, do I? But I'm going to have to anyway, aren't I? Um, come on, come on. There we go. Um, my surprise has about, what? I want to say about four more shots on it. Oh, God. Well, I better not miss. Which I probably am going to do. I'm glad they're standing still for me. Very nice. Oh, dear. Well, you know what? You can actually climb up these, these little pipes here. Which uh, I probably should just show you. You know, there you go. The pipes, huh? They're strong enough. Could make for a nice shortcut. And so it has. The pipes are a little bit um, finicky when it comes to climbing them uh, because you have to sort of crawl around them and you don't really drop off them, you just sort of fall. Oh god, here we go. Um, this is going to be bad. Alright, well, we climb up here and there's going to be a load of dudes up on the top deck. Uh, like I say, it's a little bit finicky. You can't really tell where you can go and where you can't. Um, if we're quick though, we can maybe get up to the top without getting caught. Maybe. Alright, well, this is the top deck. So we're going to climb over there and have a look to see who's there. Probably a load of goons. I was right. A load of goons. Okay, well, um, I'm going to go the long way, or the longer way, and hopefully someone doesn't walk up to me and just be like, oh, there he is, because, uh, well, just like that, oh my god. Generally how it happens. I don't know if I am ranked for this. Am I? I don't remember. If I am, not good. If I'm not, amazing. Oh god. Well, um, I'm alright with getting caught if you are, uh, because, you know, I'm alright with getting caught. Um, okay, the second he runs for that guy, I'm going to grab him. There we go. Oh, really? Well, I'll just choke him out then. And, uh, I win, right? I win? I win. I win? Do I win? Well, he's extracted now, so I win. Do I win yet? <laughs> I win, right? Dunzoed. 
Watch for anything suspicious. Out. You're going to extract him. Good thinking. We'll make him squeal till he's paid his due. Attention, hostile force. We have eliminated your commander. Escape is impossible. Lay down your weapons immediately. Surrender now. You will not be fired upon. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Mission complete, boss. Oh, so I wasn't ranked. Well, if they'd have told me that, I'd have just shot everyone in the face with my fucking gun. Ah, oh, dear. Because it came up with episode 22. I was like, oh, episode 22? I might be ranked for this. Mm, well, maybe I should have remembered. But I did get a fox. So, there is that. Ah, oh, very nice. My accuracy was fucking awful, but, um, yeah, one of those things in it. It's always awful. You know me, my accuracy's terrible. But there we go then. Interesting. Interesting little mission. And uh, I think this actually uh, goes on to another thing that we can do, which is uh, acquire a security team, which should actually even out some of our uh, current staff members, which I need to actually go into my staff members and change them about a bit. But, you know... Oh, that's besides the point. We're going to get on to our main mission now, which is that really tricky one, which is to, you know, infiltrate Nova Braga. So let's go do that, shall we? Boss, we figured out who that enemy commander was. He was on the staff at Mother Base nine years back. Despite surviving the attack, he broke off from us and spent his years terrified that a cleanup squad would come after him. The isolation screwed with his sense of loyalty. A rumor, source unknown, had him convinced that the attack nine years ago was orchestrated by you yourself. The big boss sold out his comrades to hide from the world. He thought that's why you weren't at the base that day. He was so desperate to take us down. He built up his own PF, copying us in every way. His idea of the perfect revenge. But in the end, he was just a victim of disinformation. I'll leave you to decide how to deal with him.